Hello everyone, just landing right here on Take 5 GCP Helipad. I am your pilot today, Stephanie Wong, customer engineer here at Google. Today we have Priya Gavargaria, I'm also a customer engineer here at Google, and I'll be co-piloting. Perfect. Well, Priyanka, you know the drill. What are you going to show us today on Take 5? All right, I'm going to be talking about Data Studio, the what, the why, and the how of Data Studio. Uh, what is Data Studio? It's a data visualization tool. It's very powerful in quick and easy data visualization on Google Cloud Platform. Why should you use it? It connects to a large number of data sets available within Google Cloud Platform, and it gives you live connections to those data sets. Uh, and once you have the reports, you can collaborate with your users or other parts of, the co of your organization to, to share those reports. Uh, and then for how, we're going to dive into the screen and show you how to do this. Perfect. Let's get started. Awesome. All right. Um, so when you go on to datastudio.google.com, you will end up on the landing page. And that's what you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, on the left, you'll see some tools to start creating your data sources. On the top there, you'll see some um, pre-built um, reports that you can start using uh, right away or learn from. And then uh, if you have, if you're like me, you've used Data Studio a lot, you'll see some of your previous reports. Um, and there's a plus icon to start building a report. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, when you click the plus, it starts to open up a, a blank report for you. You can give it a name. So we'll do that. We'll call it demo. And then we'll keep it fairly simple. For any, so any report that you want to do, um, you would obviously have to attach it to some type of data source. So when we click on creating a data source, this is where you see all the different connectors that I was talking about to connect to the different data sources. Um, there's BigQuery, there's Cloud SQL. If you use, um, if you use uh, Google Analytics, you can connect to that, the Sheets, um, and just MySQL, SQL, all types of options that you, that you have to connect to the data. In this case, we're going to just connect to BigQuery. It'll ask you to authorize any of these data sets when you start to use them. Um, and it's easier to just get into a public data set, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm looking for my project. And then I'm using Austin 311 um, report service requests, and I'm going to connect. Um, that's how simple it was to connect to a data database or a data stream. Um, and then once I do that, it starts to parse out all the fields and types and mm -hmm. aggregation, and it did that automatically for me, as you saw. I didn't have to do anything. It also gave them different types on its own. And once I say add to the report, it'll ask me for authorization to add. And once I do that, now I have my report ready with that data source behind the scenes. I'm going to quickly create a chart. And you'll see that it tries to pull in and create a chart on its own. So what it did was it took a complaint description and created a pie chart to see, okay, there were there were 6% or 6.8% requests that came for loose dogs. And then I can uh, I may be a person who's not interested in this and is interested in finding out what was the source of the requests. So in this case, uh, it'll give me another view of the chart saying, most of the requests came in from phone, and then some others came in, 7% came in from Spot 311 interface. So if I am the admin, I, I may be interested in this information versus if it is somebody else, that they may be interested in the previous chart that I was showing. So the idea is to show that you can quickly create charts, and then I can give it a topic, a heading, and say this is, all right, let's, Let's give it a name, and then obviously I can change the font and everything, give it a color that people can see. Um, and once I do that, I can start sharing this with my colleagues. And that's the cool part. You can now start to collaborate on the report and be like, this, is, this doesn't look right, or you want to see another view. You can start to share with your colleagues. And the one main important point that I forgot to mention in the why section of the reports is uh, these are live connections. So as you change the data in your backend, the report will automatically reflect that. 
All right, so that was how you use Data Studio. How was it, Stephanie? It seems super simple, easy. Pre-integration's already built into it, so no excuses, right, not to get started. Yeah, and it is free, so go ahead, get started. All right, well, thanks everyone for joining. See you next time on Take 5.